Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is my instant match reaction. Instant match reaction. There we go. After Liverpool have just drawn 0-0 against Blackburn Rovers in probably one of the frustrating games, like one of the most frustrating games that I've probably witnessed in a long time with this Liverpool side. Um, in just the way that seem that that things seem to pan out, I just. I just don't know and I'd wish I'd kept a note of how many chances that we had throughout that game because that first half we completely dominated. We had so many chances, the flanks were being used so well and we just was not able to score. It felt, you know what it felt like? It felt like there was a force field around their goal and you know what? I am one for giving credit where credit is due. Their goalkeeper, I think her name is Alex Brooks. Definitely Brooks. Not sure about the first name, but that's kind of what I thought. Brooks, let's just say. Absolutely phenomenal. The amount of saves that she pulled off from Rince as well, who kicks the ball so hard and with, with so much power. And from such close range, she was able to save some unbelievable goals. Like, obviously, the, the things just that come off uh, that I can sort of remember is that go that goal when Rince was that goal that opportunity when Rince was thrown on goal and she's so close to keep and the keeps just like access denied um but the point I think I wanted to make in this video altogether and the main point is that there's a lot of of talk in the, the women's game about the level of goalkeeping and the this the sometimes lack of it but I think that's a perfect representation, that whole game from both goalkeepers. Lords, Lords made some amazing saves as well, but it just shows how amazing women goalkeepers can be. And there is that talent and that level within our within our, both of our top, top top flight leagues. And beyond that, we have F Riley Foster, who's on the bench as well, who's an incredible goalkeeper. And there's a lot of excitement coming out about Eleanor Heaps as the next up and coming one out of the academy. So that's it's an amazing showcase for women goalkeepers and I hope it gives people a bit of understanding as how how amazing some of them actually are. And that was an incredible display from both goalkeepers keeping their keeping their team in the game. And uh from close range and from long range, there was such a variety of different saves that were shown throughout the game and I think that it showcased talent of female goalkeepers super well, which I'm super happy about because there's so much negativity towards that area of the sport sometimes. It was nice to have that showcased in a really good light. So that was that was awesome. I mean, not so awful awesome for us because we weren't able to score because the goalkeeping was so good. Um, but it's, it's one of the things. I think when you look at it properly, this is definitely two points dropped for Liverpool and that's 100% one point gained for for Rovers, they tell you what, they are 100 times better than the Rovers team that we played last season in the Conti Cup. We were scoring, I think the average must be something like five goals each time we've seen them in the last few um, in the last few few seasons that we've played against them in the Cup. We always seem to go against them. Um, they have come leaps and bounds completely. They're so well organised. They've got a brilliant goalkeeper, as I've just said, super well organised, recruited really well and really, really tested us. The way that they were able to keep Rince quiet in that first half was unbelievable. She hardly got a sniff. So I think it's a massive credit to Blackburn Rovers that game. I know we're not a Blackburn Rovers channel, but I'm just I'm being like taking off the gla the red tinted glasses for a second and just saying like that was an unbelievable effort from them. And they did super well. Super, super well. Um and and unfortunately for us, that's the sort of the way it, it panned out. I just think the chances that we have, first of in that first half, two driving balls across the face of goal, and uh, each time she was inches, absolutely inches away from getting a foot on contact and getting it into the box. And it's just, it was a game of missed opportunities, 100%. Um, so first in the first half, I thought we used the flanks really, really well to spread the play and... Uh, Hodgson was absolutely phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And uh, that's probably one of the best games that I've seen Hodgson, although we lost, one of the best games I've seen her as an individual performance play. Uh, I thought she was incredible off the back of a good of a good game against Sheffield as well when she had to come on to replace Jade. I thought she was really, really good. That opportunity she had with that crot, the Beth Mead crot across a shot. I don't know. I think she'll probably say that it was a cross. Um, and I think it probably was. But it hits the bar. That's another chance that's gone. And you think, oh, my God. It was super, super frustrating. Um, but 
when looking at the positives, we, we are able to create these chances. So many times last season, we were not able to do that. Um, so that's a positive going forward. We know we can do it. We know we're a good enough side to score. It's just today just didn't click. And it's 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 so annoying because we really need to keep up distance with those top teams. I'm not sure what the Sheffield result was. I know at half time it was nil nil. I know Leicester by the end of the day are probably top of the table. They had they scored about four goals in the first half. So to be able to be keeping up with those teams, we really really need to be picking up these points. And after such an incredible feeling, beating Sheffield on the last weekend to to going back down to, to not picking up three points this weekend. It's that consistency that I think we're missing a little bit. We're very up and then we're very down. And to, to be a team that wants to be promoted and needs to be promoted back into WSL, we need to be super, super consistent each week. Um, and hopefully that will come with time. There's a long season ahead still. We've got a Christmas break in between that as well, where they go away and work on things, have a bit of time off. Um, but it's 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 frustrating going into a week as well where we're playing Everton midweek and then again on the weekend. It's a tough, tough run of fixtures. So you really wanted to kick it off the, the right way. But, you know, it's it's one of those things. I don't think there's any need to get, you know, get your pitchforks out. It's not at all. Because um, there were so many amazing things there. Rachel Furness. Like, any game that Rachel Furness doesn't play in, I don't want to watch. That is just the way it is. She is so vital for this team in driving forward. She's really that... She's like the motor of the team. But without a car motor, your car doesn't move. Rachel Furness is that car motor. Absolutely, 100%. Really drives them all up. Such a leader in the centre of the park. Um, Absolutely phenomenal. And another part that probably will all... We will all wince at this if we don't get promoted this season. And it's that rinse chance where she's... She's been given through ball. She's on her own, uses her pace to create the chance. She's through on goal and the keeper saves it. I mean, it's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. But I think because Rintz had so much time, it, it sort of like got into her head and, and she will think that's a missed opportunity. And it happened twice. And you're thinking, oh, she's got this. the second time. She's got this, guys. We're going to be one up. Absolutely not. Um, but again, I think that's absolute credit to... Um, Brooks, their goalkeeper, she was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I think their bat line are just, they've just come on leaps and bounds. And I, I don't think we were necessarily expecting that because of our score tally against them the last few seasons. I thought that we, we I don't think it was, uh, it was complacency. I don't think it was that at all. I just don't think we had luck on our side today and and, and Blackburn did. Um, and then Blackburn, to be honest, could have scored. There was that completely weird situation the Blackboard had had the goal in the back of the net, but the referee bought it back for them to have a free kick. And I was just like, what? It was super strange, but I mean, it was good for us. But in terms of like refereeing, officiating level, that's slightly, slightly concerning. It was a bit strange, um, but we got away with that one. We did get away with that one. I thought our back line today looked a little bit shaky at times. They were able to cut through us quite a lot in the second half. They were super, super good in the second half with their, with their three balls, just sort of cutting out a few players at time. But in the first half, we were solid. Um, but yeah, I know I spoke... I think this, this video is mainly about highlighting the goalkeeping of the game. I think if we'd have won, I'd be highlighting the fact that we won the game. But we didn't, but we got to take positives out of it. And that, yes, it's, it's, it is definitely two points dropped. Um, but you know it's a long season ahead we've got plenty of time to put things right and I know that we will put things right massive game against Everton in the Conti Cup on Wednesday I know our focus this whole season has been on the league but you know it's Everton it's a derby anything can happen they've been in good form and it'd be nice to test ourselves against them as well and you know a victory on derby day is always something that you want so make sure you check out our match reactions for that when it comes out on Wednesday and it is being streamed which is absolutely fabulous because we can't travel anywhere because we are in lockdown so that is fun um but yeah frustrating day lack of clinicalness is I think probably what you can sum it up with um but great goalkeeping absolutely fan fan fantabulous I was about to say fantastic goalkeeping and hopefully that that continues but yeah look at looking ahead it's nothing to panic about 
but it's hopefully something that we can we can build on and be better at next time i think that's definitely the way to sort of look at it but yeah thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you like my match reactions please let me know if you do um it's always nice to to know if people are enjoying what you're doing so let, definitely make sure you let me know uh, check out everything on our channel we've done a little post-match poll make sure to get your vote in and you can sort of crown the rntv women's player of the match is a new little thing we've got going on um but yeah definitely make sure to like and subscribe leave us down in the comment who was your player of the match or no go onto twitter as i said let us know your comments about like the game in total and what you think about um the upcoming everton game on wednesday and yeah so that's kind of it from me thank you so much for watching and we will be back soon with another video